All right, let's see how we can go with this one. This will be an interesting one. Not the greatest original, but I'm sure I can work something on it. I think this one's going to be 200 one way, and I think the vertical is going to be 200, and this one will be 209. I think it's a bit, yeah, a bit smaller. So let's see what we can do with this one. Actually, we're not going to go all the way with the contrast. Far from it. I'm going to just put that there, fairly standard. All right, let's see what we've got on our, on our hands. We've got here... School of Rock, Andrew Lloyd Webber made this. This is School of Rock. This is the picture here. We're not seeing we've got this fold-out section, which is a pain in the ass. We're going to just take this section and make that the subject. We're just cutting up using half of the image. So it's going to be a lot smaller than A6. A5, yeah, a bit smaller than the A6. So I had to make it bigger. And I, yeah... And I think we need to make it, or whatever. We've made it too big on the on the horizontal. So the horizontal has to go 141.4. So it's going to be distorted a fair bit. But let's see if we can make it look interesting anyway. Yeah, it's a bit of a tricky original, this one. <laughs> if I must say. Let's see how it looks. Let's see if we've made it look any good. Whoa, it still needs to go bigger. If you see what I mean, that fold-out bit is still showing through, but we've got the horizontal correct. We're just going to add some more percentage to there. So we're going to go probably... We're going to go here, 200 and... 15%. Let's see how that works. It's a little bit tricky as you can see uh, with this fold out original. Anyway, that looks better. I think that's pretty much what we're after. It's not it's not going to be the greatest piece of work. I'm wondering where the center of this job is going to be. I'm thinking it's going to be there. This is not really a good piece. It doesn't look all that good. I don't like the way the guitar is in that uh, position. Uh, wondering if we're going to do any more work on it. We're going to do some more work on it. We're going to make the horizontal the horizontal is going to be we're going to make it 200 even though it's going to cut a lot of it off but it'll probably make it better it'll look better hopefully it will for some reason my intuition was telling me to go with that uh, I don't know why uh, exactly we'll soon find out yeah that looks a lot more interesting except we've lost the the main, the star's head. The star's disappeared somewhere. He's gone. He like, see, here he is. He was there. And now he's just disappeared. His head's been cut off. <laughs> oh, well, that's not such a bad thing. It actually looks a bit, uh, just trying to decide. See what I mean? I just can't seem to get this one to work. I'm going to make it into a fucking movement, movement piece. I'm, fuck it. I'm not going to fucking play around with it anymore it's a pain in the ass this particular job so i'm just going to turn it into a fucking movement piece i'm going to move it around i'm going to slip and slide it make it look interesting i'm going to do the whole thing like that so i've just found a creative solution to a problem so i'm going to now put it on there and we're going to slide it around on the glass we're going to make this into something more fun more easier to deal with so i just had that idea just then uh, thinking this is shit 
Oh, I just heard a clack noise. It's like a click noise. Anyway, that looks a lot better. We've got all this movement here, and there's the guitar, and we've just cut the top off the star's face. Oh, who gives a shit about the star anyway? It's all a load of rubbish. I don't follow... I don't typically follow celebrities and shit. I don't fucking care about who's who and who's what. Yeah, it's okay to have some kind of discussion about celebrities every now and then, you know. I mean, but I don't care that much about how people are so are so interested in them, you know, like how celebrities become like gods to them and they want to worship them at the fucking altar of fame. I mean, seriously, it's really stupid to say the least, folks, but that's what the world is like. The world has become like this. Um, people just, yeah, we're doing it like that. People just don't seem to have any problems with, you know, the celebrities aren't, all they're cracked up to be anyway. Half the time they don't they don't even respect their own fans, you know? They don't give their fans any respect. Uh, the fans just bow down and kowtow to them without any sense of, you know? It's best, I feel it's best, in my opinion, that you can admire someone, but just don't, don't, don't sort of worship them. You know, you can, you can admire them, because they're talented, because they write good music or good or make good movies, um, but but don't treat them like fucking gods, folks. Because uh, they're not gods, and they're not they're not. A lot of the time, they're not even wor worthy of being admired. You know, the ones that let you down. You know, a lot of people get let down by celebrities all the time. They get let down, and it's just so painful to to meet actually meet the celebrity in question and find that they're such a nasty little bitch or 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 bastard that they're not nice to you uh in my opinion i'd rather just go to a concert like a human league league concert when i'm with luigi of course and i'm not interested in going backstage to meet the human league i just like their fucking music and their attitude but i'm not interested in actually meeting them I just want to admire them from afar and, and admire them in a purely healthy sort of a way, that they are talented and they are good at what they do, but they're not God. You know, Philip Oakey is no fucking God, but he does good music, he sings well, and he doesn't actually play the instruments that often, but he, he's, he's the, been the head of the group for decades, and he does a good job at singing and, and all that. But basically, I don't worship Philip and the group. I don't worship him or the group. Um, I just like their shit, and that's it. I can relate to their shit, but it's not. But then I don't want to meet them, to be honest. I'd rather just see them on the stage if I was going to a concert. I won't be going to a concert on my own. I want to share my stuff with my future husband, Luigi, and even him. I can't worship him either. I love him, I, de I adore him, but I can't treat him like a fucking god. And that's it. But he's beautiful. So let's see how we can go with this. Yeah. Well, if you want to know who the Human League is, just Google it on, on, on your computer or your phone, just, to, just to, so you can answer some questions. That, I, that you might have about who the fuck is the Human League because they're not that big like they used to be. They used to have had one big hit back in the early 80s called Don't You Want Me? And that was a really good song and that was on the radio for a very long time. One of the memories I have of that song is that it kept coming on and I woke up to that song on many occasions. I was in bed and I just remember waking up to it almost every morning at one stage. <laughs> but that, you know... You just, you just admire them from afar, you don't, you know? But anyway, that looks really good. I think we turned a dud into something really cool. Gotta go.